Hello, you're watching The Luna Show, and right now you're about to meet Half Pint Ebony. Now, he's focused and adorable, and he's a wonderful young man, and so I needed to interview him because he's so cute. And once you see this interview, you'll see why. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, Half Pint, how are you? Hey, Luna. What's up, Luna TV? <laughs> What's going on? Chilling, chilling. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Thank you. So... How long? D shout out, I'm doing a shout. Jackie, Jackie, you mad low. And I'm on Luna TV. We're doing Luna TV right now. <laughs> I can't walk Luna TV. <laughs> so, tell me about, a little bit about what got you in the scene anyway. Like, how did that happen? Uh, Darren, Bones, Bones Milan, and uh, my, my gay father, Tim Jules Ebony, they got me in the scene. I started off, I was in St. Clair back in 06. Then I became a Ebony. I've been an Ebony since November 2006. I like it so far. It's so good. It's pretty good. That your category has always been what you've always yeah, loved. Yeah, yeah. Little schoolboy, waiting about to graduate to something new. Not old way or uh, or twist, but something different. Oh, okay. So what is it that you like about the ballroom scene? Uh, I like the the spirit. Of, like whenever when everybody comes together, the community spirit. Um, I like the competition. I like helping people, um, being creative, getting being able to express my creativity. Are um, so you an artist? Uh, somewhat. I make music. I used to. Oh, do you? Well, what do you mean used to? Uh, I used to play the tuba <laughs> in the French horn. Why don't you continue? Um, college and work. I didn't have time. Do you have a tuba on you now? <laughs> <laughs> a, tuba. a flute or no, something to no play? No sousaphones. No. You could do the ha. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, so you came into the scene and you're a schoolboy and you want to graduate to a different category. What do you see yourself doing, though? Um, maybe body. I, think I could do body next. Like right, a junior sex siren or something like that? Nah, no sex siren. Cat boy or something? Or nah, definitely body? not a cat boy. Oh, not, okay, so just, body or just, sex siren? Just body. Oh, okay. And so, what do you see your uh, ballroom career going like? Uh, um... I want to be a ruinous legend. Either be a ruinous legend or be legendary for uh, Butchman Perfect We have tennis. to do that for many years, though. Right, right. I'm, I'm willing to put in my work. <laughs> so, and in terms of outside the ballroom thing, what do you do? Uh, well, I was working. I just got, I laid, got laid off Tuesday. I'm sad about that. But um, I'm going to school with my master's mm -hmm. in uh, advertising. I'm about to change it uh, next week to nursing. Oh, really? Yeah, How do you go from advertising to nursing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not into the advertising anymore. And I feel like really, nursing's... there's a lot of money in advertising. It That's is. What I it's do. so competitive, and it's like I just feel like nursing is. I don't know. Well, I feel like I'll be helping out a little better. And... Actually, no shade, but nursing. There's a lot it's of old. interest in male nurses. Yeah, so... and it's just a shortage in male nurses. Yeah, there are. No you so go, you could make a, a cute coin with uh, being a nurse, but also you can make even more of a cute coin in advertising. So, in a way, since you already kind of dabbled in advertising, you could do both. I could, I can make you could be a nurse that has a laptop that, that creates be cool. advertisements for clubs and things for your community, ballroom flyers. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's one thing you would tell other schoolboys and uh, people that are part of the scene who are your age? What, what's one model or message you would like to leave them? Um, be as independent as you can. If you ever have an opinion about something or you have values or you feel a certain type of way, don't compromise them or do what somebody else wants you to do or what you see other people doing. Okay. Well, thank you, baby. Thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Didi! D D are you fine, Didi? I'm going home. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you leave it. Happy birthday. See you next time. Bye, Didi. Jackie tried to stay. Jackie. Bye. 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 Jackie. What, what is Jackie, Jay Z, and Didi Golden Gloves <laughs> con <laughs> giving? <laughs> Oh, Jackie 007. Jackie Corn said she had double up. Jackie Corn! Jackie Corn said she had double up. Not no cons, bro. You play this year, bro. Over the Philadelphia. Hi, Jackie. What's going on? Hi, how are you? Bye. Hey, TV. Hey, TV, lad. Juicy. Juicy. Are you in the Kiki House, Shay? Huh? Are you in the Kiki House? Um, I affiliate? wasn't. Are you I, affiliated I, with the McQueens? No, I'm a Apuchi. I'm God's something, mother, father. 
Yeah. Oh no, Luna. What? I'm God something, Fuchi something. What, what are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Father Juicy Couture. Oh really? Yeah. How that happened? Uh, Courtney <laughs> asked me to come. <laughs> Oh, is that simple? <laughs> if only the ballroom scene could be that simple. Right, right. Do you, th do, you, do you think that the ball, uh, the Kiki scene has more fun than the ballroom scene? Hell yeah. Definitely, I think so too, no shade. The Kiki scene, be, they go all off. Yeah. The kids come together. They have and balls. And they're young and they don't do balls. And they just want to like be a part of them in the mix. And Isn't that interesting though? I find, I find that whole dynamic like interesting. Yeah. And it's, it's really funny when the ball kids come out and they lose to the Kiki kids. That's really, really... <laughs>